Hello everybody. Uh, so I got a bunch of these very interesting looking uh, lantern mantles off of eBay. They're a fraction of the cost of the actual Coleman mantles, but they're also very large looking and very porous looking. So what I'm going to try and do is replace one of my OEM ones and see if it works. And if it does work, how well does it work in comparison to the OEM mantle? I don't have high hopes, to be honest, but uh, I'll tune back in when it's time to burn this thing. Okay, so now I've got this beast of a mantle ready for a burn down. As you can see, it is significantly larger than a normal Coleman mantle would be. But I'm going to start the burn down. I'm trying to get it to curl to the one side a little bit so that it stays away from the metal side there. Now what we want to do is just like a normal Coleman mantle, I want to just burn it right down. Right down until it's a little crispy. Crispy my bobber. Alright, now it does seem to be burning down to what looks like it's going to be a usable sized mantle. I'm wondering how the porosity of it's going to wind up affecting the actual light producing qualities. So, as you can see, it's slowly just kind of burning down. Now, usually with the Coleman ones, I can actually get this top area to burn down. It doesn't look like it's going to in this case. We might have to wait until we actually light the lantern for that. However, it does look like there's a nice uniform burn around it, right? And my hopes are slightly higher than they were when we started here because it did shrink up quite a bit. It actually looks like it might even be working its way up into there. Oh yeah, yeah. So it's just gonna take a minute to smolder through there, I think. Now, one thing I notice about these is, if you look here, there's a, a visible amount of, uh, I guess, tar from uh, from burning this this off. So there's definitely a decent bit more material burning. As far as I know, the way that these mantles work is you've got a uh, iron oxide or titanium oxide some sort of metal coating on the fabric and when you burn it away you're basically just using the uh, that coating on top of ash and that's what reacts with the gas when it's lit to make such a bright beautiful light so if you've ever used one of these before you know they're bright as hell um, so what I'm gonna do is and just finish going around the edges here and I'm gonna toss the lid back on this uh, lantern and we'll see what happens when we light it okay so here it is all set up you can see even after burning the Chinese mantle is quite a bit bigger you never know that might even be a good thing uh, it is still a quite a bit more porous as you can see that the holes within the mesh are a lot larger uh, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect the uh, the burn of it. Uh, maybe it'll shrivel down a little bit more once it gets burning. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, light it the same way that I normally would. So turn on the gas. Oh, hey, look at that. And I don't think it's getting any smaller. Oh no, it is, it is. Okay, so it actually shrunk down a little bit more. Um, it looks like the Coleman might be a little bit brighter, actually. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I think the Coleman is a little bit brighter. So, yeah, it might might not even be brighter. It might even just be that because it's larger, it's probably only putting out the same amount of light. Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to test this in the bush, I guess. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell side by side. It does seem like the Coleman is burning a tiny bit brighter. Or, you know what? I think now, after letting it sit a minute, the Chinese one might be burning a bit brighter. So I'd say they're about the same. If you can't tell, they're probably about the same. So I mean, I guess that's that's a win for China. So these are butterfly mantles, made in China, number 41 mantles. And. They came in a pack of 10 bright, durable, made in China, butterfly brand. So nothing on the back, typical Chinese product, this comes with a stack of them in there. Uh, it was $3 for 10 of these, so that's 30 cents each um, at Canadian Tire near where I live. It is five dollars for two Coleman mantles. So if you do the math, these cost about a tenth the price. And they're, I'd say, at least 90% as bright. They're comparable. Um, one thing is durability. The Coleman ones, uh, they break reasonably easy, but if you're careful, you can keep a mantle on there for a, a good number of camping trips. I mean, uh, I, uh, I've used the same mantles basically all summer until one got a little hole in it. Still even kept using it, um, but that's not advisable because a hole in the mantle can crack the glass. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, they're, they're comparable. Check them out on eBay if you're, uh, if you're into cheap stuff that still works.